Imagine waking up one morning to discover that all the seawater on Earth has turned fresh, what do you think would happen? It's a perplexing thought, isn't it? To fully grasp this, let's first understand the essence of seawater. Seawater is not just simple H2O. It's a cocktail of various elements with salt or sodium chloride being its most significant component. This saline character of our oceans isn't a mere coincidence but a vital cog in the grand machinery of our planet's ecosystem. The salt in the sea plays a multitude of roles, from driving oceanic currents to maintaining the Earth's temperature balance, it even impacts the very air we breathe, contributing to the cycle of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So the next time you dip your toes in the ocean, remember this. The salt isn't just there to sting your wounds or flavor your soup. Salt in the sea isn't just for flavoring your soup, it's a crucial part of our planet's life support system. So, why is seawater salty in the first place, you might ask? Well, the answer lies in a natural process known as weathering. Over time, rainwater, which is slightly acidic due to carbon dioxide in the air, erodes the rocks on land. This weathering process breaks down the rocks into smaller particles releasing minerals and ions, such as sodium and chloride, which are the primary components of salt. These tiny particles are then carried by rivers and streams, making a long journey towards the ocean. As they travel, they pick up more and more minerals and ions, gradually increasing the salinity of the water. By the time the river reaches the ocean it has collected a significant amount of these salty components which contribute to the overall salinity of the sea. But that's not the only source of the ocean's saltiness. There's another important contributor lurking beneath the ocean's surface. Underwater volcanic activity. Yes, you heard it right, the seafloor is not a quiet place, it's a dynamic, ever-changing landscape, home to thousands of underwater volcanoes. These volcanoes emit a variety of chemicals including salts, further adding to the ocean's salinity. Moreover, the process of evaporation also plays a crucial role. When the sun's heat causes seawater to evaporate, the water turns into vapor, but the salt does not. This means that the salt gets left behind, increasing the concentration of salt in the remaining seawater. Now it's important to understand that this process isn't a quick one. The sea didn't just become salty overnight, it's a process that has been ongoing for billions of years. With each passing day the rivers continue to transport minerals and ions to the ocean, and underwater volcanoes continue to emit salts, maintaining the sea's salinity. In conclusion the saltiness of the sea is the result of several natural processes working together over a vast period of time. So next time you take a dip in the ocean and taste the saltiness of the water, remember it's a taste that's been billions of years in the making, the sea didn't just get salty overnight it's a process that has been ongoing for billions of years. Now let's entertain this hypothetical scenario. What if all the seawater became fresh water? Imagine for a moment a world where the salty tang of the ocean is replaced with the taste of pure fresh water. This may initially seem like an inviting image, an endless supply of drinking water at our disposal. But the implications of such a change are far more complex and far-reaching. Firstly, consider the marine life that has evolved and adapted to survive in saltwater environments. From the smallest microorganisms to the largest whales, every single species would face unprecedented challenges. Many of these creatures would not be able to survive in freshwater, leading to a massive reduction in biodiversity and potentially even mass extinctions. Then, we need to consider the ocean currents. These currents, driven in large part by differences in salinity and temperature, play a crucial role in distributing heat around the planet. With no salt to drive these currents the heat distribution would be disrupted, potentially causing dramatic shifts in our global climate. These shifts in climate wouldn't just affect our weather, they could potentially impact agricultural practices, disrupt ecosystems, and even lead to increased incidences of extreme weather events. The very fabric of life as we know it, from the food we eat to the homes we live in, could be thrown into disarray. Finally, the impact on human life would be significant. Not only would this change affect our food supply, considering much of our seafood would be at risk, but it could also impact trade and travel. Our global economy relies heavily on oceanic shipping routes, and changes in water density could affect the buoyancy of ships. In conclusion, while a world of freshwater oceans may seem like a dream at first glance, it quickly becomes a nightmare when we delve deeper into the implications. The balance of salt and freshwater on our planet is not just a random occurrence, it's a delicate equilibrium that life has adapted to over billions of years. A world with freshwater oceans is a world that is drastically different from the one we know and live in. The salinity of our oceans isn't just a random fact, it's a necessity for life as we know it. 
When we talk about the salinity of our oceans, we're not just discussing an interesting piece of trivia, we're delving into a critical aspect of our planet's life support system. The salinity or salt content of our oceans plays a vital role in maintaining the balance of ecosystems around the world. Marine life from the tiniest plankton to the largest whales depends on a precise balance of salt and water. This balance allows these creatures to thrive and reproduce, forming the basis of a complex food web that sustains life beneath the waves. If the salinity of our oceans were to change drastically, it could disrupt this delicate balance leading to potentially catastrophic effects on marine life. But the influence of ocean salinity doesn't stop at the water's edge. It also plays a crucial role in regulating our planet's climate. The ocean's salt content contributes to its ability to absorb heat from the sun. This heat is then transported around the globe by ocean currents, helping to moderate temperatures and create the climate patterns we're familiar with. If our oceans were to suddenly become freshwater, this heat absorption and distribution system could be severely disrupted, leading to dramatic changes in our climate. Furthermore, the ocean's salinity is also linked to the world's oxygen supply. Tiny marine plants known as phytoplankton rely on the ocean's salt content to survive. These microscopic organisms are responsible for producing over half of the world's oxygen through photosynthesis. Without the right balance of salt in the water, these vital oxygen factories could be in jeopardy. So it's not an overstatement to say that the salt in our oceans is far more than just a flavor enhancer for our food. It's a fundamental component of our planet's life support system, helping to sustain a wide range of life forms, regulate our climate and even keep us breathing. So next time you take a gulp of salty seawater, remember it's not just salt, it's the lifeblood of our planet. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. That's all for Nifty Narration.